Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Zoom tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily change the backgrounds in your videos just like this so that you can have more of a professional background and you can be a little bit more private with your background. Now, it's very easy and you don't need a green screen. Zoom software has it so it would automatically do it. We can even add our own images to have it personalized or to look however we want it. All right, so to get started, the first thing you need to do is just be in a Zoom meeting, either one that you joined or it could be one that you're hosting as well. Now, if you don't already have Zoom downloaded, check the description because I do have a tutorial going over how to set it up and then how to use Zoom overall. But if you do have it installed, all we need to do is just go down to the video button down here, find this arrow, select that. In the pop-up menu, select choose virtual background. Now it will give us some options in here. They have five built-in options. You can select these. And the first time you select it, it'll ask you to download it. Go ahead and select download. And then you can just go through and select them. Now they do have some that are actually moving in the background. So as you can see, this one has waves moving and this one has the actual Northern lights moving in the background. And if you want to turn it off, all you have to do is just select none. But as you can see, like my background right now, is just a backdrop. A lot of people don't have backdrops. Maybe they're just in their living room or maybe they're at a Starbucks or something like that. Having a virtual background like this really stops any distractions. And it also makes your webcam look more professional. Now, what I'm going to show you next is how you can use your own personalized images so you don't have to use these five that are included. We can add our own images or videos that will act as our virtual background. So it's very easy to add our own images as our virtual background. All we have to do is just select this little plus symbol right here. It'll give us the option to add an image or a video. Now, if you don't already have an image that you want to use as your background, it's very easy. All you need to do, just simply go to google.com. You can look up anything you want to. I'm just going to do office. And if I go to images, I can find different office backdrops here. What I do recommend doing is going up into the tools and then making sure that the size is large. Now, if you're worried about copyright issues, all you need to do is just under the tools next to where we selected the size, just make sure that you have the usage rights and select labeled for reuse with modification or labeled for reuse. That'll allow you to use it without having to worry about the copyright. So I'm just going to select this one right here. It looks kind of futuristic. I'll open it up and then I can go ahead and download this image. Now that I have the image saved on my computer, all I need to do is select the little plus symbol, go to add image, find the image on my computer. And then there we go. It'll add it as my background. So it kind of gives that professional look like I'm in an office. You could also do things such as textures, maybe a black background, brick, anything like that, just to make it so you don't show what's behind you and it's a little bit more private and professional. All right, so that's how you change the background in Zoom. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Zoom tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.